So something that I'm really been trying to do with my channel is talk about tough subjects that nobody else is really talking about. So this morning, I was drinking my little cup of coffee and I was going through the comments on my recent Nerd City video and there was something really fascinating about them. And I was like, you know what? This is the perfect opportunity to talk about some more moral psychology. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul, where we talk about the problem, but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, what I try to do is take different topics going on in the YouTube community, whether it's from creators or the community as a whole, and I try to see what lessons we can learn from them. So if you're into that stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And if you're not yet, please follow me over on Instagram and Twitter at The Rewired Soul, because I do giveaways and I love engaging with all of you people too. It's good times, all right? So before we get started, something new that I'm doing is I wanna start donating 20% of any ad revenue I make if I get monetized to different organizations. So this video, please share it because 20% of all the ad revenue is going to NAMI. That is the National Alliance on Mental Illness, all right? I will also provide a direct donation link down in the description and in the pinned comment below if you would like to donate to this awesome organization, all right? So anyways, yeah, as many of you have saw, like this video is going viral that Nerd City made talking about the the no-no words from YouTube and some of the issues going on. And in that video, uh, Nerd City, like they, they collab with a bunch of other YouTubers talking about how people aren't making money off of YouTube. And it was crazy, like some of them were talking about how they couldn't pay the other people who help them with it. Some people are fully relying on YouTube and it's a major issue. But anyways, I was going through my comments on my video and like I said, it was absolutely fascinating. I'm always looking at human behavior and just like, huh, this is really interesting. So we're gonna circle back to how Nerd City exposed the YouTube community. But first, I gotta tell you a quick little story about one of the most famous studies out there, all right? So basically what they did, I believe it was at Princeton, all right? So they uh, they did this psychological experiment where they had some students come into a room and they filled out like personality questionnaires and everything like that. And part of the reason they do that is to see how they respond is it based on their personality, like what is the ingredient that makes them act the way that they do with what they're studying. So anyways, they were put in this room and then they were told that they had to go present or go learn more about this thing in another building, all right? So some of the students were told that they need to hurry up. Some of them were told they had all the time in the world. Some of them were told that they're already late, all right? Now, here's the kicker. What the, the, the people doing the study did was they hired an actor. So on the way between point A and point B, between these two buildings, they hired an actor, all right? So on the way over there, this actor would cross their path and he would like topple over like he was like sick and ill, just like, Argh! right? And they wanted to see how many people would actually help this guy from point A to point B, right? And they were trying to see what the variable was, what would determine whether or not they would help this man, all right? So, what they found was 63% of the people who had all the time in the world to get over to the next building, they would stop and help the guy, all right? People who were told they needed to hurry up, 45% of them stopped to help this guy. Check this out. The people who were told they were running late, only 10% of people stopped to help this guy. All right, now here's the kicker. Here's what will blow your mind. So remember I told you they started off in building one? Well, what they were talking to them about was the Good Samaritan story, all right? So what they wanted to see was if they put the Good Samaritan story in the forefront of these people's minds, right? You make them think about helping other people does that make them more likely to help someone when presented with that opportunity? And the answer was no. It all depended on how much of a hurry they were in. All right, so real quick, moral of that story, slow down, 
help some people out, all right? Um, a great book on this, by the way, um, not just this study, but just human behavior in whole is a, a book I just finished by Sam Summers called Situations Matter. Go check that book out, it's awesome. I'll link that down in the description below as well. All right, so going back to Nerd City. So like I said, Nerd City just made this video about the demonetization issues with YouTube and how people are not making any money off YouTube with the ad revenue and everything like that and you know certain words that are getting flagged and everything but anyways I came across a bunch of comments like this this one kind of made me chuckle so I picked this one specifically this is from Thorn the Bear title is clickbait to trick people into watching yet another video of this walnut <laughs> making sure everyone understands what a victim he is and how virtuous he is oh and to shill that waste of paper he calls a book First off, the book is only available in ebook and audiobook format, so it is very environmentally friendly, all right? But anyways, a lot of people pointed out how I plugged my book in that video. So what does this have to do with the Good Samaritan study? This is what's really interesting. Nerd City just put in the forefront of everybody's mind how YouTubers are getting absolutely screwed when it comes to ad revenue, all right? They brought in Coffee Break and many other creators talking about how, you know, they, they love making content and they put all this time and effort into content. And not only is YouTube not adequately distributing their content, but they're also not really making money off these videos. So the community just learned how YouTubers aren't making money. And then a bunch of comments are talking about how I plugged my book, which is $5 by the way, ebooks 10 bucks. But anyways, I wanna have a bigger conversation because this is something that I notice in the community and it's also not just the community talking to creators, it's also like creator on creator stuff. See, a lot of YouTubers are pressured into not selling things, right? They are constantly getting comments like the ones I received, and whether it's merch, whether it's books, I I get so bummed out when I see other creators talk about, you know, um, their kind of moral compass and why they won't do Patreon and everything like that. I'm like, man, you see that YouTube is not paying you and you won't give your audience the opportunity, right? Like nobody's putting a gun to anybody's head to have them sign up for Patreon or buy your merch or books or whatever it is, but YouTubers are constantly getting pressured not to do that. And like I said, it's not just the community leaving these comments. Like, like you, I watch a lot of commentary channels as well. You often see YouTubers attacking other creators, right? Like talking about what is and isn't okay to sell. Not only are they saying what is and isn't okay to sell, they talk about what price it's okay to sell. Like this is something that I put a lot of thought into, right? Like I spent probably well over a hundred hours on my last book. I gave it away for free for the first month and a half. I'm selling it for five bucks. I spent another X amount of hours recording that audiobook. I paid an editor and everything like that. The audiobook is only $10, right? Because I'm constantly thinking about this. And you know, from for me, and I know other creators are doing this too, I'm like, okay, what's a price point where other people aren't gonna talk too much crap, right? But the thing is that we need to realize when Nerd City makes a video like this, it's like YouTube, like the demonetization thing, it is an issue. But creators are constantly, constantly getting bullied into having to rely on the unreliable YouTube ad revenue. Like think about that real quick. Like does that not make you just kind of interested and fascinated? Like we're hearing about this growing problem and, and YouTube hasn't done anything yet to fix it, but people are constantly commenting on the way other creators are making their money and stuff like that. So like, I I don't get that much in ad revenue and stuff like that, and I never planned on YouTube being like a, you know, a full-time thing, and it became one for a little while and everything like that. But um, my thing is, I, I love other things, like writing books and things like that. Like, that's my jam, I love that, right? But if any other creators are watching this, I just wanna let you know, like, like, get that stuff out of your head. Don't let the community, don't let other creators, like, just sell what you think is valuable 
to your audience, right? If you put time, if you put effort into them, I think Nerd City is a great example. I think people like Elvis the Alien are great examples. Like their merch is sick, right? But I just want other creators out there to know like, you know, let go of your, your fear that people are gonna judge you. You know what I mean? Because some of these creators, I, I can't remember the history channel that they showed, but like he, he relies on that ad revenue to pay other people to make his content. And the community doesn't understand that when we're all getting, you know, pressured into not having other revenue streams, like it hurts the ability for people to put out content. Like I'm fine, but I look at these other creators, I'm like, man, and you're getting pressured by the community not to sell other things, you know what I mean? But anyways, I just want you guys to th sit back and think about that. Think about how Nerd City just showed you how creators aren't making money, yet there's a bunch of people commenting on YouTubers trying to make money. Seems a little irrational if you ask me. But anyways, that's all I got for this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And since you are learning about how we don't make any money off of YouTube ad revenue, I wanna send a huge thank you to everybody who supports the channel over on Patreon, anybody who buys the books or the merch, all that kind of stuff, you greatly help the channel. All right, thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time.